hey there guys what is going on sloppy here happy sunday story time the houses secrets of house tilney screw that up welcome back another creativeverse adventure on this a beautiful sunday i started this one recently and i thought you know what this is gonna be really cool i'm gonna put in a video it's gonna be its own video i'm really excited it's kind of a different thing and it's kind of cool uh, you inherited an old estate. Look around to solve its riddles and discover the story of the foreign owners and their servants. Can you find out what happened to them? This is really cool. Uh, this adventure is actually a whole story and a mystery that you try and solve, and I'm really excited to do it. I played maybe two, three minutes of it before I was like, oh, this is actually really neat. I'm into it. Here's a video of me being into it. Um, let me know if you guys have played this one in the comments below, what you thought of it. I'm kind of intrigued. It's a bit of a different vibe. You know, I've played a few adventures that have little stories, but this one's a bit more in depth. Oh, I don't know why I'm out of breath. I was talking real fast. Please notice there's no cage, but if you leave the estate by climbing or swimming, you might set sail to Spoiler Town or see what's not meant to be seen yet. The checkpoints will tell you the main story, but you might also find some optional parts on your own. So yeah, there's checkpoints that kind of guide you through the story, which is pretty cool. And uh, there's extra stuff, and uh, maybe Spoiler Town is stuff that's maybe to come in the future. Let's jump into it. We get some armor, some health potions, which makes me think we might be fighting. Kind of neat. Also, leave a like on this video. I'll like bait right at the very start, because I'm excited and ready to go. Hi, I'm Tom. Uh, I'm the caretaker of this estate. Now that you're the new owner, I'll assist you while you look around. This is Tom. Tom is uh, kind of our, our guide. He's the caretaker. Very cool. So I assume we're some sort of detective that's come to solve this. But you can see it's very nicely decorated. We got a bakery. We've got a pretty cool looking little car. Ooh, hello. Uh, let's check out the bakery real fast. They said there might be some clues. Tom, when I was a child after a long day of work, Mary, the baker, gave me a piece of warm bread and I fell asleep by the fireplace. How adorable. Walden playing Rocket League. That's pretty much all he does. Um, very cool though, very cool little bakery. Ooh, there's a little upstairs. Mary the baker, Peter the farmer. Aw, very cute. All right, uh, let's go into the town now. One second here. There's another little door. Let's get all the secrets of this place. Ben loves his books. He taught me to read in his free time. I never had a teacher and there's no public school nearby. Ben the coachman. Oh, right. He would be the guy who drives the coach, I suppose. I was thinking coach. I was like, why would they need a... Anyway, let's go through here. Tom, the family owner, Lord Tilney, his family and their servants disappeared. You have to find out what happened. Ooh, baby. Need help with a riddle? Find a trapdoor near the number pad and you'll get a little hint. So yeah, there's little riddles and uh, apparently you can get hints. There are five riddles in the house and one in the garden. Solve them to open the door in the wine cellar. Why do I feel like the wine cellar is going to be the big mystery? Uh, so let's look around here. Um, there's a little garden. This is the house, which is gorgeous. The yellow concrete really works in this build, and I never even thought about using it on a large scale, but boy, does it ever work for this house. And, uh, they've got a very nicely done up lawn. Oh, it's on a sensor. <laughs> like, why is it opening but saying it's locked? So the house, they went with the traditional obsidian and limestone. Boy, does it work. Boy, does it work. The dining room. Very nice. We do not have a task to go to the dining room. Uh, this looks like some sort of living room. Nice little fireplace. The pool table. Those supposed to be the balls or just... Yeah, I guess. There's the white ball. And Anyway, very nicely done. Uh, staff only. Yeah, that was a living room. It's a little buggy for me at the moment. A little laggy, but that's alright. Upstairs, servant's room. Downstairs, function rooms and cellar. Servant's room, wine cellar. Hmm. Interesting. What's, uh, what's this door? To outside. Okay. Upstairs, servants' rooms. I guess we will check out upstairs first. So we are upstairs in the servants' rooms. Oh, hello. Flickering lights. Was that like a thing? <laughs> Was that like supposed to be a thing? Uh, to the servants' rooms in the attic. Okay, so now we're just upstairs from where we were, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, library. Ooh, library's got a checkpoint. Let's check it out. Um, I guess we'll check out the workroom before the library. Okay. This is cool. Oh, Lord Tilney's diary. Okay, here's a clue. Last night I had to ask the gardener Jane to search for more flowers for medicine in the forest. The night swallowed my wife forever. I cannot forgive him, but we have to find him anyway. <gasps> 
So Lord Tilney killed Tom's wife. Well, sort of. The forest killed Tom's wife, but Lord Tilney made her go. Hmm. I sent some... Something there. It's a very nice room, though. Very nice study. What is this block? Tiled Moroccan wall. Very lovely library. This really works as a library block, doesn't it? Definitely works as a library block. Very cool. Uh, need help. Open here. Oh, okay. Here's Tom. Look in the three shelves beneath the shorewood for the next code, but don't mess with the books. Uh, shorewood, three shelves. Okay, first shelf. There's one junk data chip. Sometimes as I check out the land, my thoughts turn to the big moon in the sky and I feel weird. I feel like these aren't clues, but I'm trapped. I'm alone, I think. Something really bad must have happened. I wish I could remember. Uh, there was two in here. Interesting. And one in here. One, two, one. Maybe that has something to do with it. Yeah, okay, we got the library and the workroom. We're on a roll. Um, so there's nothing else on this side of the upstairs. The upstairs doesn't look huge, though, so maybe we'll try this one. Children's rooms, guest rooms. Check that out in a second. Family bathroom. Boy, this place is bumping. Look at this bathroom. This is really cool. I wish my bathroom looked like this. Anyway, uh, let's go master bedroom. There must be some stuff happening here. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. After she gave birth to the twins, Lady Tilney was very weak. She needed a tea from a rare flower to stay alive. Ah, that's why he sent the gardener. It's making sense now. Lady Tilney, Lord Tilney. Collect up that. This is looking nice. This is looking very nice. All right, sorry about that. I have to cut the video a little bit because of my recording. Whatever, it's not a big deal. Uh, we have a closet in here. That kind of does look like folded shirts. Uh, interesting, the slabs. Hmm. Having water in your bedroom seems kind of strange, but let's move on. Uh, is there anything down here? Nope. Okay, let's check out the guest rooms. And the children's rooms, I suppose. Uh, oh, they appear to be upstairs. Kind of a cool vibe. What flower is... Oh, that's the Grum's Temple Garden. That's the one everyone's trying to get. It does look cool. Little particle effects and such. Ooh, I feel creepy up here. I don't know why. Oh, man. This is like the coolest place ever for kids. Are you kidding me? Also, kind of shitty to put your... Uh, <laughs> kind of shitty to put your guests with your kids. Uh, anyway. Uh, children's Room 1. The moment the twins opened their eyes for the first time, they lightened up everyone's life. Alright. Alright. Uh, the yellow and the blue guest room could be each other's reflection, leaving the color aside. How many differences are there? <gasps> oh. So it's kind of cool. They have like little mini games as well as this sort of mystery you're trying to solve, which is pretty neat. So here's the blue one. Let's see. Let's see. This is... Okay, so how many differences are there? Let's see the yellow. Uh, the bookshelves are one difference I'm noticing quickly. Uh, so the bookshelves, one. Uh, this one has a table and chairs. That one has, this one has two things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, the chair is different. This one only has one wall shelf. Do I see anything else different? Maybe that block is turned a little bit differently. <gasps> There's a bathroom. Oh, I didn't even see the bathroom. Yep, that block is turned a little bit differently. So we're at four things different. Now let's check out the bathroom real fast. Uh, okay, pretty simple little bathroom. That kind of does look like a shower head, eh? They did a really good job with the details of this place. Uh, let's check out the other bathroom. I think we're at four details differently. Different. Uh... I think the bathroom, this one has seashells, so maybe five? Let's try five, I think. Hmm. Hmm. What, uh, what else is different? This one doesn't have seashells. I think the bathrooms are the same except for that. The table and the chairs are different. Maybe the windows are different. This block is rotated differently. I don't know if that counts. Maybe we'll try four, because I'm not sure if that block being rotated slightly differently counts. It doesn't. Okay, so, sorry sir who made this map, or ma'am. Oh, it doesn't say who made it right now. You're wrong. You're wrong about things that are different. 
maybe, I don't know. Um, all right, very cool, very cool. I don't think there's anything else up here. It does not look like it, so let's go back down. All right, didn't really help us solve the mystery, but that's all right. Uh, you know what, let's check the attic first. The attic and the servants' rooms. Attics are always where creepy things are kept. Carpeted, okay. Uh, let's go this way first, I suppose. So these are the servants' quarters. There's a thing here. Uh, oh, look at this. It's like a big storage room. That's really cool. That's really cool. Let's open that up. Uh, does not appear to be anything in there. Is there anything in these chests? I can't open them. No. Uh, no clue? Get one here. Well, let's not look at the clue yet. Uh, well, it doesn't... Oh, it doesn't give me a clue as to this. So, uh, there's three things on here. There's a bed, a chest, and a little thing. So maybe three? No, we didn't get anything. Um... I don't, I don't know. All right, well, let's check out the these for a second here. Maybe they'll give us a clue. Oh, last entry of Susan's diary. I told John I'm pregnant. We're happy and worried. At the moment, we can't afford a baby. Oh, okay. Um, Eliza the chambermaid, Susan the chambermaid. Okay. John is... Oh, who is John? I don't know. Fiona the nanny. Three people sharing that one. Okay. Jean Viev. Ooh, Jean Viev's room has a thing. Javier's old diary. The young Lord and Tom grow older. They play like brothers. They don't know that they are. <gasps> Tom, now you know. I'm the bastard. I may not like my brother, but he's the only family I have. We have to find them. <gasps> Tom is... Oh my goodness. Tom and the Lord are brothers. <gasps> Scandal. Scandal. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, is there anything back here? Tom. Rosie and James married because it was practical. They are best friends and always take care of each other. That's nice. That's just cute little backstory. Uh, male servants, okay. Uh, piece of letter from John to his father. I spoke to Lord T about Susan's pregnancy. He promised to help. Alright. Okay, Michael the servant. Yeah, look at them. I was thinking maybe they'd be getting frisky. You know, men and women living on a floor together. Boom, chicka bow, wow, chicka bow, wow, wow. Um, okay. Uh, one bathroom for so many servants. You're right if you think that's not enough. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, pretty nice bathroom, though. To, to be fair, pretty nice bathroom. Um, so we don't actually get a clue here. Uh, I think I'm going to use the clue in the trap door. That's a cool way to do the riddles. Um, count things on shelf. Count things on shelf. Three? Didn't I try that? Uh-huh. It's not three. Is it five? Nope. Is it four? Nope. Is it two? Nope. Is it one? <laughs> um, count things on shelf. Uh, it appears to be three. It appears to be three. I don't... They can only hold three things. Count things on shelf. Uh, I don't know what they want from me here. Three. Maybe there's another shelf? The bed back here. Count things on shelf. Is this shelf? Hmm, I don't, uh, maybe we'll count everything in this room. I have quite literally no idea what they want here. It says, count things on shelf. There are three things on shelf. I counted every item in this room. I went through all the rooms again. I have no idea what it is they want. Um, so, yeah, it... It appears to be pointing me this way to a checkpoint, but that could be any checkpoint. I, I, I don't know what they want here. I tried every number between 1 and 50, just manually. 
quite literally no idea. Maybe we'll try that later. If you guys know, uh, give me a shout. Let's try the same one. Uh, let's try one, three, one. I, 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 nope, no idea. We're gonna try and do the other ones. Maybe, um, maybe we'll luck out. Uh, so, um, the end maze kitchen pool. I assume kitchen would be, well, uh, maybe over this way? Bar kitchen, there we go. Boy, it is dark. Uh, it's got a full bar. Interesting addition to a house. Okay, the kitchen is lovely. Find out the twins' favorite meal. Look at the ingredients and find out the right letters. <gasps> Little hint underneath. Okay. Uh, what ingredients do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, boy. Chizard egg, brown mushroom, turnip, horn, melon, wheat. Um... Last five letters, six letter, three dragons, middle one. Uh, okay, wait. Last is in green. I don't know if that... Five letters, middle one. Turn up. That's, uh, I don't... Uh, five letters, middle one. Huh. Five letters, middle one. Oh, okay, so this would be what we type in, I assume, to give the hint. Uh, three dragons, six letter, middle one, six letter, okay, wait, maybe this is each one, last five letters, wheat, uh, wheat, sixth letter, wheat, turnip, three dragons, chizzard eggs, middle one, turnip, sixth letter. Um, chizzard egg. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the hint again. These are tough, man. Or I'm an idiot. Colors show ingredient to look on. Letters give you meal number. Colors show ingredient to look on. Letters give you meal number. Last five letters. Uh, last is in green, which is. I guess chizzard eggs. Last five letters. So chizzard eggs. R D E G G. Last five letters. I have no idea. I think I'm just gonna. I'm gonna cheat a little bit, maybe. Is it one? No. Is it two? <laughs> no. Is it three? No. Is it four? No, is it five? No, is it six? There we go, it was six. It was the pie. Interesting. Okay, I don't really know how that worked either. Awkward. I'm terrible at puzzles. Um, okay, pool. I want to say pool would be out the back somewhere. Bar. Uh, ooh, there's a basement. Maybe pool down here. Uh, can't open it. Can't find it. Uh, the, the next code has to be somewhere in this room. Be brave. It's a pool. Be brave probably means... Oh yeah, there's a little thing over here. Uh, 1031198110311981. 1031198181. Let's see if I can remember that. <laughs> Let's see if I can remember that. Uh, one, zero, three, one. No, uh, one, uh, <laughs> what did I forget? Boy, my memory ain't what it used to be, huh? One, zero, three, one, one, nine, eight, one. One, zero, three, one, eight. Wait, 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 I already screwed up. I already screwed up. Give me, uh, give me another chance here. One, zero, three, one, one, nine, eight. One, there was a zero in there somewhere. One zero three one one nine eight one. One zero three one one nine eight one. One zero three one one nine eight one. Let's see. One zero three one one nine eight. Ooh, uh, nine eight one. 
Awesome. Okay, that one was real easy. It's a nice pool, though. Uh, ooh. Function rooms and cellar. Bench by the sea, the end, maze, the door, and the wine cellar. Uh, okay, so we have to find the garden or something, which would be outside, I have to assume. Um, bench by the sea. I see the sea over there. Let's uh, cheat this a little. <laughs> bench by the sea. The sea bench. Uh, maybe there's another bench. This looks like a fancier bench. Maybe it's still not the bench. <laughs> uh, okay, there's many benches by the sea, but I appreciate it. Yep, here's one down here. My wife loved this place, especially at night. She dreamed about living on the island. You talk about that island? Okay. Uh, what else do we need? The maze the end. The end might mean quite literally the end of this little... Is this a maze? No, it's like it's a little badminton court or tennis court or whatever. Um, the maze makes me think that there's some sort of... Some sort of jerk put a big maze around near this place. Uh, huh. Not seeing a maze. Maybe it's inside of the building? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Maze. Uh, not really seeing anything resembling a maze at the moment, so the rest must be inside. Okay. Um, yeah, that's where we came in. Okay, uh, so there's one... There's one somewhere maybe below us over here. Below us or above us. Okay. These ones don't really have like a name name, so let's go function rooms and cellar. Washing room and cupboards. It's a strange to see this room so empty with so many people living here. Normally there are so many dirty clothes to wash. I want to make a clever like joke that they'd use, you know, there'd be some clever thing. Uh, a cop show would make some clever, you know, uh, they got dirty laundry. Until someone died, or, or whatever. That, that's dumb. Okay, why would a house have an armory? Um, okay. Servants come together every evening to have a dinner and talk about the day. Sometimes we're like a big family. Fair enough. It looks, sounds like a lovely, lovely little place. Rosie can cook anything for you. Well, she could. She's gone now, like all the others. Stop looking at that pie and go on. Why do they have so much food? Mmm. Mmm. This is a nice little stock room. And this looks like... The wine cellar. This is the door I mentioned. I know the answers are behind it. You have to find a way to open that door. The door is locked. White wolf. Okay. Well, it appears... Go this way. Ah, oh, my face is itchy. Okay, there's a door from the wine cellar to here. I don't know where anything else is, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> give me a second to look around, I guess, but I'm not really too sure where I'm supposed to go. Well, 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 look where we are. Uh, just, just to the right of where we came in. Somebody built a maze. Of course they'd build a maze. Find the code hidden in the maze, pull the switches, and you'll find an exit at the end. Great. I love mazes. And I got the hiccups. Four. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I hate mazes. I hate mazes so much. Oh, why does everyone make a maze? I know they're easy. But please, just resist the urge to put a maze. I will love you so much. Just don't put a maze. Just don't do it. I like the uh, dried fallen leaves on the path occasionally. That's a nice touch. It's a nice touch. I feel like this is where I entered and I'm getting lag. That's uh, some sort of entry point. 
Here's the center point for, uh, okay. And some flowers. This is a little bit bizarre. I feel like I've already been through most of this. Um, I feel like I've been through a lot of this already. Yeah, this comes back to the center as well. What this direction? I feel like I'm just looking for like the one random switch. Which appears to not really be anywhere. This just leads back to the middle, right? What? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out and try and cheese this one because I just hate mazes and it's not making any sense. Search for different leaves. Last option, climb the leaves. Uh, look for different leaves, last option, climb the leaves. Look for different leaves. Oh, like this? Did I cheat a little bit? Yes. But, was there a way to get to this? No, there's not even a way to get to this. What? How are you supposed to do this? Uh, four, eight, okay. I'm still cheesing it. <laughs> I'm still phoning it in. Uh, four, eight. Yeah, I think they want you to climb it. Like, he gives you things to climb it. I mean, it's cool done. Like, there's different leave things. and Four, eight, nine. And then, did that just, like, phase out and exit? I guess. Four, eight, nine. I think he wanted you to cheese it. I think that's what he was doing. Four, eight, nine. Yeah. So, the only things left are the end, which I assume is the end, and the attic, which I have absolutely no idea. Seeing as we can't get in the wine cellar until, I believe, we do all the riddles, I believe we've done all of them except the one in the attic, which is mind-boggling. Went through the wrong way. Here's our clue. Count things on shelf. I have no idea. I have genuinely no idea what it could be, and I need that to open the door in the wine cellar, and then that gets to the end. I, I, I'm i gonna give it a few more goes, but I really have no idea. If you guys know what the answer is, it's not three. I'll tell you that much. Please let me know, because I have no idea. Like, look at, count things on shelf. Count things on shelf. Count things on shelf. What shelf? I assume this shelf, right? You would have to assume it's that shelf, and there's three things on it. I don't... Like, I know I'm bad at puzzles, I've proven that again and again, but what is that even... I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do a few more things, but I... I'm, this adventure is really cool. I'm into the story. I want to find out who did it, but... I just cannot seem to figure this out. So please let me know in the comments if you guys have figured it out, what the answer is, and next time I'm going to beat this to gosh darn. I want to find out who killed Lord Tilney. So leave a like. Yeah, leave a like. Subscribe, all that jazz, and I will catch you guys next time when we find out who killed Lord Tilney. Ciao!